Hi, today we're going to talk about sunscreens, everything you need to know to really protect your skin. Hi everyone, um, Manuel and Marika Johnny from Isomer Skin Care and today our topic is sunscreen. Sunscreen is something that you hear a lot about and maybe you have a lot of questions and a lot of confusion around sunscreen. I'm a cosmetic chemist, I'm a scientist, I'm an innovator, a product developer and I've studied skin care for over 30 years. I've been formulating for over 30 years so I know a little bit about sunscreens and I want to share that information with you today. First of all, sunscreen. What is it? What kind of sunscreens are there? Well, sunscreen is literally what it says. It's designed to protect your skin from the sun, the UVA and the UVB rays. Both of them are important. You want a broad spectrum sunscreen. This is one that's going to cover both kind of radiation that comes from the sun and other forms of light. And the reason we want to do this is because sunscreen rays penetrate into the skin and cause a lot of damage. Some damage might be minimal, a little bit of pigmentation, maybe a little bit of sunburn, but then there's damage that occurs really deep inside the skin that can cause cancer, can cause DNA changes, and this is what we're really trying to protect you from when we're formulating sunscreen products. How we formulate sunscreen depends on the use that we're going to have and the active ingredients in sunscreen. Two main types of ingredients that are utilized for sunscreen. One is a chemical sunscreen, that's what we call a chemical sunscreen, and one is a physical sunscreen or a sunblock. So don't get confused. I know it sounds a little bit weird because everything is a chemical, so to break it down as chemical and physical, we're only using this as a way to explain one type of sunscreen, the chemical, is usually invisible, goes into your skin and absorbs into your skin like a sponge. So this is classified as a chemical sunscreen. Usually these are much more acceptable in the sense that they're very lightweight, they're usually very invisible, really easy to apply onto your skin, but they do absorb into your skin and therefore they don't sit on top of your skin where you really, really need your sun protection. So now we're gonna move into the other type of sunscreen, which is a physical sunscreen. A physical sunscreen, like a TiO2 or a zinc oxide, they actually are minerals. Sounds much healthier, but, and, and, they sit on the surface of your skin, that's like a shield. So one form of sunscreen is a sponge, another form of sunscreen is like a reflective shield. Now we know intuitively that a physical sunscreen is actually better for you because it's going to sit on your skin surface, act like a shield, and therefore it's not going to allow the UVA or UVB rays to enter into your skin. The problem is a lot of people don't like using physical sunscreens because why? They tend to be thick, they tend to make your skin very white and pasty, and so aesthetically they're not so pleasing even though they're probably safer and healthier for your skin. This is why we utilize a broad spectrum sunscreen that utilizes both technologies. We're going to use both technologies so that we can get that sunscreen onto your skin. We love the fact as scientists of a physical sunscreen. So when I'm talking about our sunscreen with UV pearls here, this is really important to notice that our sunscreen is white. And now why scientifically we like a white sunscreen is because when you put it on your skin, you will tend to get some whitening. Now this is really important. Why? Because you'll know exactly where you've applied it. Most sunscreen, the problem is that you've missed a spot. You're not probably putting enough sunscreen on. You're not reapplying. You're getting a false sense of security by just applying a sunscreen. You think it's invisible, but even the physical sunscreens, you see what happens? They do disappear, but they do have a guide that shows you where you've put your sunscreen. 
light. Now this is something that I think is really important because not only is this type of sunscreen good for your skin, you know where it goes, it shows where it goes, and then it is absorbed into your skin, you're not going to miss any spots. Another benefit of a physical sunscreen, especially one like ours, which is a UV pearl, this takes the chemical or the physical or the mineral active and it actually wraps it around a glass bead. This allows the sun to penetrate through the glass, be actually shattered by the physical sunscreen, but it doesn't actually penetrate your skin. Why is this important? This is important because this will make the sunscreen not irritating. It won't irritate your eyes. It won't cause breakout or acne. It won't cause sun sensitivity. And usually these are huge turnoffs when you're thinking about sunscreen. You're thinking, you know, I want a sunscreen. I want to keep my skin really healthy, but I don't want breakout. I don't like the ones that sting. I don't want the ones that are going to make me sensitive or white. This is why Knowing the type of sunscreen, knowing the formulation and the chemistry is very important. Another benefit of our sunscreen, or this type of sunscreen, a UV pearl sunscreen, is that it's going to be universal. Every skin type can use it, every uh, age can use it, and you can also use it on your face and your body. So you actually have that benefit of using one type of sunscreen for face and body. Another question with sunscreen regards, is regarding the SPF, and there's a lot of confusion around SPF. People think that if the SPF is 50, 60, 100, you're safe, and that's not actually how it works. We know scientifically and mathematically that a sunscreen SPF of 15 actually will cover about 93 to 95% of the UV rays. That's huge, okay? So when you actually get to an SPF of 20, which is ours, or an SPF of 30, you're actually covering about 97 to 98% of the UV rays. When you get to a sunscreen over 30, you're only covering 98, maybe 99% of the UV rays. So when you think about it, you've added a lot of SPF onto your skin for almost no benefit. And if you're not putting enough sunscreen on, and the rule of thumb is two fingers. So literally, you wanna be able to apply two fingers of sunscreen onto the body part that you're talking about. That's why it's important to layer your sunscreen. That's why it's important to reapply your sunscreen every three to four hours. And if you're actually doing some swimming or physical activity, you wanna actually apply your sunscreen even more often after you're doing that. When you're thinking about your sunscreen SPF, a lot of people are getting a false sense of security by utilizing a higher sunscreen, and that's not really giving you the benefits that you want. Another element that is regarding sunscreens that's very popular now is toxins that are in sunscreen. Benzene has been one that's been identified in a recent laboratory study, and we really don't have to worry about the benzene in sunscreens. Why? Because there's benzenes almost everywhere that we are today, in city air, in your carpet, in your paint, in your car, in your perfume. So when you think about the exposure to benzene, which is so small, and then compare it to the benefit of a sunscreen formulated correctly, like an SPF of 15 to 30, you're actually better off utilizing the sunscreen, any sunscreen, than none at all. I hope you've enjoyed our discussion on sunscreens. I look forward to speaking to you soon.